Hey, Game Makers! Today, I'm going to show you how to use a fog overlay as dynamic lighting. Please note that as RPG Maker VX and Ace do not have fog, this only applies to RPG Maker XP. Though, if I find a similar way to do it in Ace without using a script, I'll definitely post it. Anyway, let's go ahead and make a new game file. For this example, we'll be switching to an interior tile set, but this really can work with any of them. Next, we're going to make a very basic inside a room map. Now, normally if you're trying to add shading to your maps, at least in the default, you've got a slightly darker version of the floor tiles to work with, and that's about it. But that can sort of interfere with things like carpet, so I like using this method instead. Anyway, once you have the map made, you'll want to go into the layer view, so the events are faded and the grid is gone. Now go up to view, and make sure all layers is checked, and dim other layers is unchecked, so you can get to see the entire map clearly. And now we get to the complicated part. Take a screenshot of your screen using the print screen button on your keyboard, and open up an image editing program. I'm using Photoshop for this example, but as long as you have something that can do layers and change opacity, whatever program you want is probably fine. With Photoshop open, let's create a new file. When doing this, make sure the preset is set to clipboard. This means it'll copy the dimensions of whatever you have copied, which in this case is a screenshot of the screen. You might also want to set the background content to transparent. I forgot to do that, but it's not really an issue. Anyway, now you'll want to paste that screenshot of the RPG Maker map we took earlier into this big blank area. The next part can be a little annoying if the outside of your map isn't black. We're going to select the black space with the magic wand tool. Keep note that the tolerance should be a low number. Anti, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, aliasing? Aliasing? That one? Should be unchecked. And contiguous should be checked. If you don't want to do it this way, you can just take the rectangular select tool and drag it diagonally across the map. With the map area selected, we're going to use the crop tool to crop out the map from the rest of the screenshot. Now's where we actually start doing something interesting! Create a new layer. From here, you can use brushes, gradients, and pretty much anything you want to make your desired lighting effect. I'd recommend for any new shadows or lights you want to add, just put them on a separate layer so you can go back and change them if you need to. When your lighting and shading layers are finished, we're going to hide our original map screenshot layer, as well as the background layer I have since I didn't make it transparent at the start! Now it's time to save the image. Just go up to Save As, and make sure you save it as a .png file. I'm just saving mine to my desktop. If you're planning on editing this again, make sure you also save it as a PSD or another layer editable file type. Let's head back to RPG Maker XP and import it. Go to the Resource Manager and select Fogs. Go to Import and find your file, then click Open. With that imported, go back to your map and create an event. Make sure it's set to Trigger on Parallel Process. On page 2 of the Event command list, find Change Map Settings, then select Fog Graphic, and find your overlay. For this to work correctly, make sure the opacity is set to 255, have the blending layer set to normal, and have the zoom level set to 100. The X and Y scrolling both need to be set to 0. When that's done, click OK! And if you don't want it to continuously try to update itself, it might also be wise to put an erase event command below it. When that's all set up, click OK to save the event, and let's go test our map! And there you go, a slightly more interesting way of doing lighting! Hope you've enjoyed this video, and if I come up with any more interesting things to show you, I will definitely post them. Until then, echo out! See you next time!